In this video, I'll teach you how to display a grid line for the status date in the default Gantt chart view. If you're an experienced user of Microsoft Project, you probably already know that there's something missing in the software. You know that Microsoft Project automatically displays a grid line for the current date in the Gantt chart screen, but it does not display a grid line for the status date. In this video, I'll show you how to overcome that limitation. And if you stay with me to the end of the video, I'll also give you a special bonus. So let's get started. In this example project, today is Monday, November the 14th, as indicated by the green grid line in the Gantt chart screen. I'm ready to set the status date for this project. Let me remind you that the status date is normally Friday, Saturday, or Sunday of the previous reporting period. Let me also remind you how to specify the status date for your project. To do this, click the Project tab to display the project ribbon, then click the Status Date button at the right end of that ribbon. The status date by default is initially set to NA, so in this dialog you'll need to enter the date that represents the status date for your project, in my case, I've selected Friday, November the 11th. When finished, click the OK button. That sets the status date for the project, but notice there's no grid line that shows up automatically in the Gantt chart screen. This is where the trick comes into play. To display the status date grid line in your Gantt chart screen, Click the Gantt Chart Format Ribbon tab, and at the left end of the ribbon, click the Grid Lines Pick List button and choose the Grid Lines item on the menu. In the Grid Lines dialog, scroll down to the bottom of the list and select the Status Date item. Click the Type Pick List button and choose the last item on the list. I know it looks like dash dot dash dot, but the truth is, when displayed, it'll give you a very nice dashed line appearance. Then click the Color Pick List button and choose a color that really stands out. In my humble opinion, red gets the job done very nicely. When finished, click the OK button and there, you can now see the red dashed grid line in the Gantt chart screen representing the status date for this project. Why do we need to do this? This is a visual reminder to us to be sure and specify the status date each week in our projects. Thanks for staying with me to the end of this video. I want to give you a reward. First of all, keep in mind that when you display the status date grid line in a project, it's only visible in that particular project. But I know you'll want to display it in every new project you create from this point forward. So as a bonus, let me show you how to do that. Click the File tab, and then click the Info tab in the Backstage. Click the Organizer button on the Info page. On the left side of the dialog, the Gantt chart view listed there does not display the status date grid line. In the Gantt chart view on the right side of the dialog, in the active project I currently have open, there's the Gantt chart that does display the status date grid line. So select the Gantt chart view on the right side of the dialog and click the Copy button. 
Microsoft Project will warn you that you're going to replace the Gantt chart view that doesn't include the status date grid line with one that does. So click the Yes button, then click the Close button, and exit from the backstage. At this point, every new project that you create from this point forward will include the status date grid line in the Gantt chart screen. Now you know how to add the status date grid line to the default Gantt chart view in each of your projects. I sure hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. Add a like to the video if you liked it. I'm really interested, though, in your questions and comments. Please add them in the comment section down below. And if you ask me a question, I'll do my very best to answer it for you. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.